Before we jump into the video, I have a very special announcement for you guys in this one, and that is I have officially dropped my first line of merchandise ever. In collaboration with Sim Racing Center, better known as SRC, they of course are a partner of the channel, and over there you guys can get F124 setups, strategies, and coaching, and now you can also get my merch. All of that accessible with my code TOM97 at checkout for a cheeky 10% discount. And yeah, guys, I think you're going to love it. I honestly am very proud of the merchandise. It's an oversized t-shirt with an embroidered logo of mine and also SRC on the front and the sleeves. And it arrives in four different colors. We've got the blackout, we've got the bone, the khaki, and the sand. Really, really awesome. I've been wearing them a lot as a prototype. And now, right now, as I'm speaking, I'm wearing the black one. I can't lie, it's insane. I'm wearing it in the video as well. And the quality is epic. I really like it. I think the price also is really, really generous. And I think you're going to love it. So guys, click the link down below. Check it out. Get the merch. Support the channel. And if it does well, there might even be more. Anyway, on to the video. Now, with that out of the way, we jump into today's episode of the F124 Lewis Hamilton career mode as we arrive at Zandvoort for the Dutch Grand Prix Max Verstappen territory. Now, we have a season break coming up very shortly. Now, previous episode, if you want to watch it, guys, go check it out. Link in the top right, as always. I don't want to, you know, spoil anything, so go watch it and see what happened before we talk about what happens in this one because it's going to be worth your time. Anyway, here is the post-race fallout from that previous race at Spa, which, to be fair, went really well. We brought five upgrades to the car in that episode, and we also got our first safety car in pretty much ever. Like, I don't remember getting many safety cars, and we didn't actually get one. We got two in the same race, so go check it out. In the meantime, we are going to purchase an update for the chassis, because that is one of the weaker parts of, you know our car really this season the aero the engine are excellent but the chassis is really poor now we get that concluded and everything up to date and we can now get through the season break and on the other side of that we have a few more resource points to collect and now we're going to find out who is going to get penalized and that is going to be aston martin who lose an upgrade heading into this race at zanville so you can see reflected in the performance chart we are top of the pile aston martin right behind with Red Bull and Mercedes also in the fight. Ferrari have joined the mix. Haas have pretty much joined as well. And Sauber, Alpine on their way and also V-Carb. Like look at the performance graph compared to the start of the season. You know, it's gone from a clear Formula A, Formula B split to now much more just a fair spread, everything being pretty close together. And you can see the forecast here is also dry. Now the championship, let's talk about it. You can see we outscored Verstappen crucially in the last episode. The gap now only six points. So it's game on and we have five rounds to go. And this is going to be a fight to the death to see who comes out on top in this championship in 2026. Now, with that out of the way, we jump into practice and beginning, of course, with our race runs as usual. Pretty decent pace. Um, we only just made it in terms of Delta on our first laps eventually. Eventually, uh, getting the job done and getting quicker and finding, you know, more pace towards the end. Uh, we had average tire wear, average fuel consumption, nothing really to rave home about on either one. Um, but we'll take it. And you can see also our lap times were pretty consistent as well. So, uh, yeah, generally a, a very decent day in the office. And you can see now with the post results, we are currently 14th. So, a second off on mediums, I don't think that's too shabby. Uh, Norris up in the sharp end, but the field really starting to mix up now with those upgrades and, you know, things becoming a lot more unpredictable. Either way, uh, practice done, went smooth. We're now going to jump into qualifying and see how we get on around this legendary circuit and hopefully outscore Verstappen. With partisan support that we rarely see anywhere else on the calendar, there is an incredible atmosphere at Zandvoort. We're setting the grid for the Dutch Grand Prix in qualifying. Right then, into qualifying, soft tyres on our car as always. Planning to go for three runs in this one. Uh, we're going to see how that pans out. Currently at the end 
of our first attempt in qualifying. Using the overtake as we look to close out the lap here, making our way towards the line. What is it going to be? First lap of the day, 1 minute 8.2. We go P5, which isn't too bad. Uh, just a whisker off stroll in P3, but eventually we got shuffled down to P8. Six tenths off Max Verstappen. However, we're only two tenths off P2. So Verstappen absolutely flying on his home circuit and looking pretty damn quick. Anyway, we kick on to our second attempt, our second run in qualifying. Okay, just two laps of fuel remaining now. And we are on another fresh set of tyres looking to try and level up and just iron out some of those wrinkles and find the pace. And you can see we're already two and a half tenths up. So we're looking very, very good. Sector one behind us now through the super fast flat out right of Shrivelak followed by another flat out right with these cars. And now on the anchors as we head into this long right. At this point, the front left is screaming for help. Through the left, avoid the inside curb as it instantly spins the car as uh, so we get the exit opening the DRS down the back straight and now into the chicane hairpin combo important here to try and stay tight and then get the power down as soon as possible slight snap of oversteer which does compromise our exit a little bit as we now make our way through the last braking turn of the lap now for the final corner for with the banking and up to the line it's going to be near enough a four tenth improvement and that is going to move us into second place albeit a quarter of a second off Max Verstappen. So, onto the final runs. This is it. We've got to try and find something special here to defeat Verstappen. Right now, he looks untouchable. Anyway, P2 for now. Let's go for a full up of Zanville and see where we finish. And it's P2 again. Oh boy, these qualifiers, to be fair, they're coming pretty consistent, but it's a great battle. Like We're having to push flat out to beat Max. Today, though, wasn't the day. Max did not improve on his last run really that much, and we do finish a tenth and a half away. And to be fair, Perez up there as well. Uh, Norris in the mix. So very much Red Bull v McLaren by the looks of it. But Hulkenberg and Sonoda, P5, P7, confirming the Haas resurgence, Ferrari dropping down. What a qualifying. Anyway, it's going to be a spicy race. Red Bull v McLaren. For years, the people of Zandvoort fondly recalled the Grand Prix they used to hold, and then came along Max Verstappen. Across Europe, the Orange Army sold seats and seats and seats, and now they have their own Grand Prix. It is time for race day in the Netherlands. Four lefts and 10 rights make up the 14 corners of the narrow and demanding Zandvoort circuit, with plenty of peaks and valleys over the course of the 2.6 mile lap, which will demand absolute concentration from our drivers here today. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he'll start from pole position. And it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Considering the rest of the grid we have, Perez, Norris, Hulkenberg, Sainz, Russell, Stroll, Leclerc, Fernando Alonso, Sonoda, Gasly, Ocon, Joe, Oscar Piastri, Bottas, Ricardo, Teo Porcher, Albon, and Ollie Behrman. 
That's it then. It's time to go racing as we head down trackside for today's race. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the commentary box. I'm Alex Shakes, and we say hello to Naomi Schiff. Well, they're having a better time than their teammates so far this year. How do you keep that momentum going? I love this moment in the weekend. Put us in their shoes right now. What are they feeling on the grid? It's a very special time for the drivers. It's almost like everything around you slows down and you become hyper aware. So your nerves slightly go up, your adrenaline's going up. It's the perfect time to start focusing on your visualizations and preparing for the race. So you want to avoid distractions and really stay cool, calm and focused. Here we go. Time for the race. Dutch Grand Prix front row start Verstappen alongside us and this is going to be a very interesting race i think max is looking extra quick this weekend really really competitive in front of the home crowd the qualifying pace kind of confirmed he was looking pretty speedy but we're going to try and fight back and you know give him a fight regardless for this one we're going to be starting on the soft compound tires and switching to mediums later on uh, the softer compounds generally work better here they can also hold decent pace even if they're quite worn and the hard tire is actually not a particularly great tire around this track now i'm taking 2.2 extra laps of fuel um, we had pretty rapidly burning fuel in the last race and luckily the safety cars bailed us out but it's still a bit of a concern so uh, let's see how it goes either way max the hot favorite and of course the championship still very much at stake can't get any temperature in the rear tires fronts ain't doing too bad but just impossible to get those rears fired up we're going to overtake the snapping here and do a bit of a an illegal one to try and burn the rears a little bit and get some burnouts on the go hopefully it doesn't knack my tires out too much even though i'm only barely getting temperature so uh, not exactly ideal but it is what it is right let's get to it lights on for the Dutch Grand Prix. Let's get it. Oh, those cold rears just not working off the start. We are going to try and send it on Perez, but no way through. Note as well, Perez having a stronger weekend. Both Red Bulls up in the mix, and of course, Lando right there. Hulkenberg up to fourth. Has continued their insane trajectory with their pace and upgrades. So Nico Hulkenberg up to fourth. Red Bulls right now trying to make a break early on. So we've got to try and stick with them here and not let Max escape. So we're pushing flat out here. Also using a lot of the battery to try and run the pace. DRS of course enabled from next lap. But we won't get it until this exact point next time around. So we have to be within a second by this point to have DRS. Let's see if Perez gets involved. Maybe he might want to fancy battling Verstappen unless he's been deployed exclusively in a defensive role to try and allow Verstappen to win. Either way, let's stick with it here as Lapon draws to a close. Not a terrible start, but we do lose a place. Verstappen leads from Perez. Oh boy, the Red Bulls are relentless. They're pushing. The Bulls are on the hunt. And right now, I don't have DRS. I've been dropped. So this is really interesting. Perez right there with Max, who again is dictating the tempo. Right, this is my pace. I'm going quicker this lap than I was in the last one. But we're not really making much progress. Perez, to be fair, very close to Max. Hulkenberg's going to get us here. As Perez actually attacks Verstappen. Interestingly enough, Norris on our outside as well, looking to go through. We'll hold the line, but Norris still there, but we just get the exit. That's a surprise. Hulkenberg fighting for a podium. Who would have had that on their bingo card? But Snap and Perez going at it again. And now Norris having a look, but we'll likely outbreak people into turn one. I'm pretty confident to there. This is good. The Red Bulls battling means they won't get away too much. So uh, we can keep this charge going. I have noticed, again, we just seem to be burning through the fuel faster and faster. Clearly we need some sort of fuel efficiency upgrade. Anyway, the Red Bulls aren't really getting away. They're battling now, lap after lap, pretty heavily. Hulkenberg's putting in a shift. He's running a really good pace. So 
right now, yeah, I clearly don't have the pace. Maybe the mediums might be better for me, but right now on these softs, I'm not very happy and we are struggling. So I'm just trying to hang on for the time being. Hopefully I can get back past Hulkenberg and at some point make a push forward onto the Red Bulls to try and catch back up. I'm just trying to hit this fuel save target. Also, we do need to save fuel as I'm actually burning whilst, you know, behind a car. If we get in front, we're going to burn even more. So at the moment, I'm just trying to see if I can hit that fuel saving target before we, you know, think about making moves and catching the cars ahead. Right then, fuel saving done. We've hit the target. Actually, no, we haven't. I think we're going to fall short. Only just missed that one. That's a shame. Anyway, I wanted to pass Hulkenberg there, but I had to take a lift to try and salvage it. Either way, the Red Bulls are too quick. They're battling and they're still getting away. Um, I don't think we've got a ton more pace than this, but we do have more. But Hulkenberg's really doing an excellent job right now. I think third's the best we can do today. Even Perez is on, on his game. Okay, we'll try that again. Let's see if we can get this move on Hulkenberg here with some DRS using the overtake struggling that has is quick on the straight we just swoop around the outside of Tarzan use the grip and the camber and we go through and now let's see if we have to pace the pull the rebels are battling right now going to side by side for all of this so that's huge it'll help us gain quite a bit of time you can see already we've gained a second and they're still battling so that's a uh, a real big plus for us. Hulkenberg just held on to my DRS there. Literally only just. I think the gap was like 0 0.998. We'll burn everything to try and build a gap on this one as Norris actually pits. And in the pits. In the pits. So the pit entry or the pit window. Right, we've dropped Hulkenberg there. So now he's out of our DRS. We'll see if he pits or stays out. Norris going early. I wonder if he's gone for hards. That could be an undercut on the Red Bulls, which is interesting. Hockenberg stays out. As does Russell, although Russell now going through, so they're gonna start battling, so that will help us hopefully build a gap. Okay, Lewis, we need to save up some ERS, so let's focus on charging it up, please. Right, let's do that. That might get a reset when we box on this lap though. Right then, tires, absolutely knackered. Mediums should be pretty sweet and pretty decent. Here we go. Remember the speed limit, 60Ks. Both Red Bulls stay out, interestingly. And so does everybody else. So we're going mediums here. It might be a longer stint, but we get an empty pit lane and uh, potentially a, a slight chance of an undercut on Red Bull. I'll say slight. There's going to be traffic and chaos. Up to speed now. Let's get some heat into those tyres. You can see here, slower cars. Also, we've got Norris, a company. Maybe try and work with him. He's stuck behind Ricardo and Albon, so not exactly ideal Great for him. Okay, we've got Paul Chair in front. This might hurt us. This is going to hurt us massively. It's so hard to pass. I'll try and get one into the hairpin through here. There we go, straight away. Wasting no time. Although I could have got DRS here as well, which would have been nice. But anyway, let's push on. Red Bull in, one of them, probably Verstappen. So we're looking to try and undercut Perez here, more likely. To be fair, it's a very busy pit lane. A lot of cars in. No tyre concerns at the moment, just focus on the driving. Nobody at pit exit. There's Verstappen, 5.8 up the road. Interestingly, Norris went for softs, didn't notice that. Verstappen's already got through traffic and got himself ahead. My concern now is fuel. Fuel is a big issue. The Rebels are going to rejoin side by side and continue their battle. We're a bit closer. Four and a half. I'll make a push for a few laps here to try and close in. If it's no good, then we'll have to start going to fuel saving mode. Norris will box again, so our rival is Russell if we fall back. But let's push on. To be fair, Perez out of Verstappen's DRS might be a little bit more vulnerable than before, which could be a good thing. 
Okay, we need to go into fuel saving mode. We're burning way too much fuel, way too quick. At this point, the race simulation runs are completely broken and transfer no data to these, you know, really modified cars with lots of upgrades. So we're now going to try and save fuel. Uh, we'll allow Russell to eat into that gap a little bit. He's battling with Norris right now. So let's just try and economize as best as possible without giving up track position or giving DRS. Red Bull are gone. We can't compete. I I'm quicker than Perez by like a tenth of lap, but I'm going to run out of fuel. So there's no point. We might as well just play the big picture here and bring this one home. Right, well, I'm sorry to do this, guys, but this is going to be now a fuel saving video. I can't even fuel save that much on my own. I need to sit behind a car and save fuel, and that's not going to be easy. I don't get it. This is the most fuel I've taken for any race in the history of this entire career mode. 2.2 laps extra fuel, and I'm burning through. Like, the race runs are just not converting into any accurate data anymore. I've got to take, like, three, f three and a half laps of fuel now because it's just not translating as you'd expect. Norris now ahead of Russell again, which is decent. I mean, Norris will box, but they're going to have to get in our DRS. So uh, I'm just trying to save as much as possible. We need to be more ahead of target than this. We're 0.5. We need to be 0.5 of nine laps to go. So uh, yeah, forget Red Bull. It's fuel saving season. We'll let Lando get in front and pull us along on those soft tires. He'll be in pretty soon anyway. So. We won't have to wait long, so we'll let him go by. We'll show George the highway. And we'll just try and work to protect Lando for the time being. I don't mind if he actually got away as Leclerc now puts a move on Russell behind, or tries to. Oh wow, well, already. Well, that's that then. Oh, mate, you made that look easy. Nice work. That's why I love working with you. Smashed it. Russell tries to have a look. Again, we will let him get in front. I'm just trying to delay it as long as possible. So way below target. Right, we'll let George go. And I'll try and slot him behind. I don't want to let Leclerc go through as well. So just the one. For now. And we'll let him pull us for the next six to eight laps. And just try and get that fuel under control. We're just hanging on right now. We're just holding it at 0.5. It's not really going up, and I'm doing as much as I can already. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's been a while, but the engine's packed up. And Lando's on a, a really weird two-stop strategy. So this is going to be... Mind that front wing. It's going to need replacing if it takes too much damage. A massive blow in the championship. Absolutely massive. Oh boy, Red Bull look untouchable. This is bad. Really bad. Race over. I'm so sorry, guys. He has left the field behind. It is victory for Max Verstappen. You can just see the utter joy and relief on this driver's shoulders today because we know that the driver's contribution to the constructor's title is what keeps them in their seats. So they have definitely impressed their bosses today. Here come today's winners. The team at Red Bull have done a phenomenal job recently. It's clear to see that they've put in the work and they should be proud of the victory they've secured here. Now that is devastating. That is a terrible blow. The worst possible outcome because also this weekend Perez has been on form, has been quick. Got the extra point which is good because it doesn't go to Verstappen but yeah, a big issue and Lando Norris didn't even score points. So let's break it all down in the final race results. Lando Norris also DNF'd. So double DNF, that is huge for us. That is literally the worst case scenario from a 1-2 and fastest lap to Red Bull for a double DNF for us. And I think there's only... 
four rounds to go? To what, five rounds to go? I think there's four rounds to go. So, um... Wowzer. That is a hammer blow. So, if we delve into the standings, we're 31 points behind. I mean, it's not impossible. Even if there's just four races to go, that's 100 points, which is still very much, you know, recoverable. And Norris is now pretty much mathematically out of it. So, he's got to worry about Perez after that performance. In the Constructors, Red Bull re-overtake us. And are now 14 points ahead. Oh, boy, this is really swung, hasn't it? Oh, no, this is going to be... Um really tricky the fairy tale ending Hamilton with 10 titles it will it even happen <sighs> well we need a big next race it has to be huge we need to to come fighting with something uh, we've got no upgrades planned on my end so unless Lando's got something in the pipeline we just got to hope the next race suits our car better because nothing's changed from this episode to the last one for upgrades for us off for Red Bull so the last episode was actually more competitive. This one, nowhere near as much. So it's very track specific. And this definitely suits Red Bull more. So hopefully the next track is better for us. Either way, guys, in the meantime, in the background, you would have had the post-race fallout, you know, driver rating, specialist recognition. And uh, yeah, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Shout out to the members. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Check out the two videos on screen. Also, my links down below. And uh, yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Take care. And let's go back from me. Ciao.